Uh, hey, what's up you guys? My name is Vivian from the Paper Letter Vlog, also known as the Chatty Pen Pal channel, and today we're going to create some fall-themed mail. But first up, a friendly reminder that you can still join my Patreon craft club and get at least three extra posts a month. There's a seven-day free trial and you can find the link in the description box down below. I'm first going to create the base of this project. That will be going very fast. If you're thinking this is too fast, don't worry. I will actually have the decorating and all the fun stuff a lot more slowed down. If you want to follow along, I will also post the measurements to this project, which you quickly see in screen here in the description box down below, where you can also find the supplies I've used, etc., etc. So basically what I'm doing is I'm using this sturdy craft paper or craft cardstock, I guess, uh, to turn into a tag booklet. So it will be a flip book looking like a tag. You could also very easily make this yourself out of any paper you like, or you could just simply connect two large tags uh, by sticking some washi tape in the middle. I already had some basic ideas for the layout in mind and the rest of it I kind of made up as I went, but this was such an easy project. So such, I was in such a flow, I cre uh, created and finished this in one night, which is very unlike me. I haven't done that in forever. Usually I will spend weeks <laughs> working on a project. Uh, so I really hope you will enjoy it. I keep trying to say two words at the same time, like trying to say like and enjoy it at the same time, which is impossible. But I hope you will enjoy it as much as I enjoyed crafting it. So what I'm doing first is I am creating a pocket on the left by using one of those large cut apart pieces. I always like these, but I rarely find any use for them because they're so large and square. So I actually decided to distress it a little bit so that it was uh, less square and use that as a tuck spot. So it's just one of those cards. I don't actually know how big it is. I'm sorry, I don't know, um, but just one of those cards and then I'm gluing an L shape. So glue on the left and glue on the bottom so that it's simply a tuck spot. So there's no measuring here. It's just, I just think it looks nice. And also, can we talk about that cute font uh, that says pumpkin spice and everything nice. And then I wanted to create another pocket over here on the right. And I found this paper scrap that was perfect, but it was the other way around. So I kind of wish I had found that paper scrap first so that I could have put that pocket on the left. But I ended up going with a different one instead and not making a pocket at an angle, but just making a square pocket. Once again, the measurements will be in the description box down below. Follow the measurements. Don't follow what I'm doing because I messed it up. <laughs> I don't usually craft with measurements. I just like to go um, kind of by eye, by sight. And then I will measure to see if I can turn it into a tutorial for you guys. So yeah, <laughs> that's why I, uh, I don't really craft with a plan usually. Once again, these measurements will be in the description box down below. And then I'm just going to use a circle punch to kind of punch out a little notch and then I'm using my scissors because I lost my edge distressor. If you look closely you can see that the paper has and now has a slightly torn look which is so nice. I think that adds such a lovely touch to just make it a little bit less neat you know make it a little more messy make it a little more natural make it a little less perfect that's what I like um, and so I distress the edges with my scissors. Do be careful but just run the blade of your scissor along the paper to kind of scrape away a bit of the color of the paper, if that makes any sense. And that gives you that distressed look. Now I had this translucent see-through milky type paper. I have a whole package of them, but I only like the white ones because the colored ones, the colors are just wrong. I don't like the colors, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. Um, but I am making a page. I decided to add like a, a flip 
to the flip book. <laughs> I had a page in the middle and I wanted it to be clear. I don't know why. There is literally no purpose to this. Like there's no pocket added. There's no goodies. I just think it looks really nice. So I'm adding that in the middle with washi tape. This washi tape came with the kit. So it's matchy matchy. And I'm just trying to fit it perfectly in the middle and then I'm going to because as you can see it's way too big I'm then going to close the flip book and then cut the excess paper away but when I then open the flip book it's too short but that's okay <laughs> I would rather have it be like too short when you open the flip book than have that middle page just sticking out when it's closed you live and you learn I'm trying to use my um, guillotine trimmer here because I wanted like a sharp cut. Uh, this was definitely not the easiest way to do it. I should have just used scissors. But yeah, when you have all these tools, as you can see now, it's too short, but that's fine. It still looks fine. When you have all these tools, I guess you're gonna use them. Um, uh, speaking about tools, the I get this question a lot. The tool that I use for punching that hole is called a crocodile. I really don't know why they call it a crocodile. So crop, as in cropped image, not crocodile, but crocodile. I don't know why they call it that. It's just weird. But anywho, made a pocket on the left, made a pocket on the right, made a middle page, and then decorating in the goodies. And I'm also, I forgot to mention this, but I'm also going to add a tuck spot for the letter. Oh, I'm actually doing that now on the back of this page. Um, I actually finished this project last week or two weeks ago, I do not, but very short ago, last week, um, because this is a Patreon swap. We are doing a fall themed swap. Let me take a sip of tea. Mm. Because I'm far too chatty. We're doing a fall themed swap over on Patreon. And I made this tag booklet. I <laughs> have to admit, I postponed crafting in fall theme for so long and then when I started, finally started, it felt so natural. But because I postponed it for so long, I am afraid that this might be the only fall themed video that is going to be on my channel this year. Sad sounds. The only fall themed video that's gonna be on my channel this year um, because I haven't filmed any other. I think I started filming some, but I, ha I don't think I've, I have any other fall themed videos left for sharing but to make up for that fact i have created a playlist with all of my older fall themed videos and they that's so many i didn't even realize i went on a trip down memory lane scrolling through all of my videos going back seven years to my first ever fall themed video i included it in the playlist I highly recommend you do not watch it because boy <laughs> Am I awkward or what? Seven years ago, I was really new to YouTube and it shows. Um, but I went on a trip down memory lane adding all of my fall themed videos. So you can watch that playlist. I will include it at the end if I can. Don't know if I can, but I will at least include it in the description box down below. Once again, where you can find everything you need. So definitely do give them a watch. There's so many of my favorite projects in there. And then I guess that leaves us some time for talking. Uh, in my previous video, I talked about mental health, which I think is very important because I struggle sometimes. I think everyone, or I shouldn't say everyone. <laughs> I made someone so angry last time. <laughs> I, I'm kind of scared to talk about it now, but I was about to say everyone feels a little sad sometimes, but in my previous video, I actually said that everyone feels sad in winter and that made someone so angry. I got a whole list of insults thrown at me. I noticed that I'm actually a little nervous to talk about it, but basically this person was saying that I should go to therapy rather than annoy slash whine to other people on the internet. Well, spoiler alert, I am going back to therapy, <laughs> but I'm not gonna talk about that now. I will, however, continue to whine about it on the internet because what you may or may not know, you may know if you've been here from the start, but I went through a lot therapy wise, mental health wise, anxiety wise, I came from super far. Like there was a time in my life where I was afraid to leave the house and now 
I'm perfectly capable of leaving the house. So I've grown a lot, even though I still struggle sometimes. And I shared a lot about that journey on my channel, which I quite enjoyed. Um, or not enjoyed, but it felt nice, like a diary. And like I was doing something productive with everything that I had learned. And I've had my PO books for many years, I think four or five years now. If I had to take a guess, I think longer because I've been living here for five years. So it's already six years, I think, or maybe even longer than that. I don't know. Anyway, I've had my PO books for a very long time and I have received hundreds of letters, maybe more, closer to a thousand or something letters, maybe even more. <laughs> um, and I, in the, many of those letters, people have told me that my talking about mental health has helped them in some way. And I think that that is the highest goal achievable for me to know that my yapping about therapy and my rambling on about anxiety has helped someone you cannot imagine how good that feels like someone saying because of you i told my parents i'm struggling i found it easier to talk to my friends because of your stories or even people saying they started going to therapy because I talked about it in such a positive way. Can you imagine how good that feels? So yes, even though my stories may not be for everyone, I do recognize that it is important to talk about this because if I don't talk about it, I mean, someone else is gonna talk about it, of course, but it can be so nice to recognize your own story in the yapping of somebody else. So here we are today, I'm not stopping anytime soon and if you do not like it then you can just go to one of the millions of other videos over here on youtube Whew, that was my ted talk thank you for listening back to the project so what i did is i uh, started by adding this tag to the front of my tag i love this tag it has flowers on it and it's so perfect and pretty but i don't necessarily love love the way this turned out I don't hate it, I definitely like it, but I feel like something is wrong. <laughs> like the tag seems to be floating there. I tried to add all sorts of elements to it to make it a little bit more blend in, but like looking at it now, I definitely like it, but I feel like something could be different. I just don't know what, but I did, I mean, I like it enough to leave it because sometimes I will also start from scratch, but I don't know, something felt like it could have been different. <laughs> I just don't know what. And then what I'm also doing is I'm just kind of going crazy with this golden marker. The brand is called Edding. I don't know what it's called. I purchased it once. Love using it. It's adds such a nice gold sparkly touch to the project. Normally or very often I will use Nuvo drops to kind of like dot around the page, add some playful elements. But I actually decided to just go crazy with a gold marker on every page. It kind of ties the whole thing together, I think. Um, so yeah, that's what I did. The middle page, as mentioned, is just decoration. So I have that adorable, like, fall to-do list almost on one side. And then I just decided to add some decoration on the other side as well. You can still see some of the white from the back of the decorations, like because the paper is see-through, but I don't mind it that much. Like, I, d I don't hate it. <laughs> it's almost like the, the white is a part of the decoration. I don't know if that makes sense. And then I'm going to use one of my favorite die cuts from this collection, which is a stack of books. And of course, some vintage book page. I talk about this book page all the time, but I can see now that it says Captain Westfall. And this is still crazy to me. I have used, one person sent me a couple pages from a book and I've just been using these pages, like little scraps here and there. So it just keeps coming back in different videos. But these pages are actually from a book series that I'm currently reading. <laughs> I'm at last book. It's like 800 pages long. It's very heavy to carry in bed, but it's such a good book. Uh, it is called, I don't know what it's called. If you want to look it up, just look up like Throne of Glass. I think it's called Kingdom of Ash. I keep forgetting. If you want to know what is this book called or what the series is called, because I'm now at book seven, do let me know. But yeah, it's so funny that I just noticed it just now. Like this is still the same paper scrap. I've decorated so many projects with that one uh, paper sample. And also, how could you tear pages from a book that nice? <laughs> 
Oh, I'm just kidding. I, I get my books at the library. Like, I could never hoard books, I think. I hoard so many things, but not books. I just love reading them at the library and I'm bringing them back when I'm done. <laughs> Um, so we're continuing decorating. I can now see that this is kind of crooked. Why is the O up so high? <laughs> but I made that with my word punch board. It's just a board and you load the letters into it and then you punch it and then it punches out the word and I punched out the word hello. <laughs> uh, and I'm decorating this quite simply, I have to say, because this is just going to hold my letter. Uh, but I did want to add something to that belly band. I ended up putting two sheets of letter paper in there because I could. I don't actually think my letter is going to be that long because as I said before, this is for a craft club swap. And while I love writing long letters, it is kind of difficult to write a long letter in a swap because you have like no starting point. There's no letter you can reply to. You can like introduce yourself and you can talk a little bit about fall or something, but that's not like a four page letter. And because I always write my letters back to back, like front and back, I should say. I think this is just two pages, it's gonna be fine. Um, this fits nearly, like it barely fits. So I think I might have to trim a little off. Oh, I actually ended up folding it. Never mind, never mind. So here is the finished result. I'm also going to show you the goodies I ended up including because I haven't talked about that yet. I found some really cute goodies in my fall stash. Oh, battery died, I guess. Fall stash, because I have a, whole, a huge box full of fall supplies. Of course, a little scalloped tag, one of the tags that came with the set, some washi dot stickers, always love using those. Another cut apart from the same collection and this gorgeous fall leaf sheet from Pipsticks. I used to be a member of Pipsticks, but I don't need that many sticker sheets. So I'm adding that to this as well. I think it's really nice. I kind of feel like someone sent that to me, but it's so nice as a whole. I decided to gift it in this mail. A little close up of the pages in between. And then we have our right pocket that I just stuffed basically like a magpie pocket I love magpie pockets so it's it's not like one theme it's not like all stickers or all cut aparts it's a little bit of everything so we have washi tape samples from album love handmade we have a leaf that I'm actually going to cut out later we have these label stickers and this pet tape uh florals that you can cut out it's so pretty Absolutely love that drawing style. And we have one more. It's kind of difficult to see, but yeah. And then we have mushroom images and mushroom stamps. Here's a closer look at the pet tape. So precious, especially the pansies. So I love this. <laughs> uh, you all know I'm obsessed with pet tape. Anyway, here's another close up. While we are looking at another close up, I guess, I'm going to say my goodbyes. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave me a comment. Um, my first video back got 600 views. The one after that got 500. The one, the last one I uploaded got 400. I'm kind of, kind of hoping that we are going back up now because I don't want to go to 300 views. I work quite hard for my videos, so. It is always a little bit sad when you can see your views going down. So I would absolutely love it if you guys would leave me a little comment saying how you feel about this video and how you feel about fall themed crafting. I don't care, just leave me a little message. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends. Would also be greatly appreciated. Share it on Pinterest and all that good stuff. A uh, huge thank you to everyone who watched first of all, and my lovely patrons who are shown on the screen. There's 46 of them right now, and they are the reason I get to keep, continue uploading these videos and spend as much time on my hobby as I can. Whew, chatty Vivian out. <laughs> Wishing you all a lovely day. Bye.